GitLab enhances developer efficiency and strengthens collaboration between developers and AppSec engineers. This is done via the Merge Request view. The Merge Request view contains a security widget which displays a summary of newly found vulnerabilities. This allows developers to take action on vulnerabilities from one screen, speeding up the development process while strengthening our application security. First thing we notice is the Merge Request approvals. You can set a list of approvers who must approve if certain conditions are met in the code change, such as vulnerabilities, coverage, incompatible licenses, etc. You can see that the license check is enabled, requiring approval if any of the denied licenses are detected. This can also be done for vulnerabilities using the security policies. Expanding the security report, we can see each vulnerability sorted by scanner and further sorted by its severity. We can see SAST, dependency scanning, container scanning, DAST, secret detection, as well as coverage-based fuzzing and web API fuzzing, all within the same view. If you add additional scanners, they will also be displayed. Security scans are run on each code push so that developers can iterate on their commits to resolve vulnerabilities. When clicking on a vulnerability, we will have a pop-up shown with advanced detail about that vulnerability, such as its location and identifiers as to why it's occurring. These vulnerabilities are also actionable. When clicking on Dismiss Vulnerability, I can add a comment giving a reason for dismissal. This will allow the security team or anyone reviewing to understand why it was dismissed. This helps with the code review process. You can see a tag of Dismissed provided near the vulnerability. Different vulnerabilities provide different results based on the scanner. I'm going to go down and show you a DAST vulnerability. Here we can see more details involving the request and response. We can also see evidence as well as the solution. Notice the common theme of every vulnerability being actionable. I can click on Create Issue, and this will create a new confidential issue, enabling the security team and developers to work together on a solution without making it visible to possible malicious actors. We can also see that license compliance is detected through new licenses and there are some policy violations. Here we see Apache 2.0 being out of compliance, requiring approval. This lets developers know that they must use a different dependency containing a different license to avoid legal implications.